YouTube, what's going on? Thank you guys for checking out another video. I know my hair is looking crazy. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow morning. So if you're notification gang, definitely let me know in the comment section below what haircut you think I should get. And before we start this tutorial, I just wanted to give a quick plug to my new channel. It's all about building generational wealth, personal finance. It's just a topic really, man, that I'm passionate about. It's something that I do on my spare time. I'm constantly reading books about it. I just know it's an important topic, but not everybody's comfortable talking about it. So this channel is my way of having someone to speak to about it. So if those topics interest you, definitely go in the link below and subscribe to my new channel, Basio Builds Wealth. AJ, what's going on, man? What are you getting done today, bro? Uh, I'll do a burst fade on the sides. Okay. And just taper it into the beard and uh, do it rounded in the back. Around in the back, yeah. And then with your beard, uh, do you want to trim it down at all, or? Uh, you can shape it a little bit, but uh, you like the you like pretty much the length. Yeah, just that? keep the length, and just line it up. Okay, cool. And then what about the top? Do you want anything off the top? No, no? the top's fine. All right, cool. YouTube, what is going on? We got another haircut tutorial here for you. And the first thing we're doing is making sure we comb through the hair. We want to spread the hair out. We want to make it easy for our guards to get through the hair and the bulk and what i'm doing now is i'm just creating my shape i want everything to be nice and flat i don't want any hair hanging over um and potentially covering the blurriness that we're gonna try to um put on my client here so we're gonna start with our number three guard to really bring down our bulk and we're coming off the shape of the head and we're gonna do this on both sides and this is gonna be the foundation of the cut Right after this, I decided, you know what? We're gonna go down to a number two, actually. The hair, it's curly. And so with curly hair, you can usually get away with starting your foundation a little bit lower than a number three. So we're gonna do that. We're going two open, then two closed um, on both sides of the head. And shout out to my client here, man. He's a hooper. He was playing college ball and all that good stuff. And now he is an aspiring barber. Um, so shout out to him. I believe he cuts his own hair and um yeah it was cool we had a good conversation and i appreciate him coming in booking his youtube haircut appointment and just so you guys know i'm using babyless fx clippers and the skeletons and we're going to go ahead and start our initial guideline almost the size of like a half dollar making it nice and rounded this is gonna set the tone for this burst we about to put on them. I'm gonna do this on both sides and try to make it look, you know, the same size. All right, next step, we're gonna do our blade open and we're gonna start putting in each of our guidelines. Yo, and shout out to my cousin Tito. This beat is crazy, bro. Thank you so much for sending this over. I'm loving this beat. All right, and each guideline is going to almost, almost replicate the same rounded shape um, we started with. So the next guideline we're gonna create with our one guard open, and you can follow along in the color guide on the bottom left corner. Here in the, in the bald area, we're gonna get it even balder. We're gonna follow it with the shaver and get it nice and tight. So we're gonna zoom in here and start to use our corners of our clipper closed to start to take that initial guideline out and open it as we go. If you're feeling the zoom in technique that we've been using here with the editing, let your boy know in the comment section. All right, so we're opening it little by little as we go up, staying beneath the next guideline. This beat is fire too. All right, so now we're gonna zoom back in. I'm gonna show you we're using the half guard and it looks like it's all the way closed and we're gonna open it as needed as we go up to create this blend into the one guard open. Now remember, the longest length we use here on the sides was a number two guard. So this one and a half guard should finish off this fade. Obviously, we're gonna need to go back and detail it, but this is this is it. This is the, this is the system. We go through it, and then uh, we'll line it up, and then start to detail it some more. And you guys can see this one and a half guard is bringing it together. 
so if it's still a little bit dark in that one and a half guard area go ahead go ahead and and drop down to that one guard open until it does its its magic if you got to close it up some close it up some especially when it's the first time you cut your client's hair it's going to be a little bit of trial and error until you start to understand what works and what doesn't for that particular client because no one system is going to be cookie cutter and work for everyone so we're lining him up keeping everything nice and natural we we want a good balance of sharpness and naturalness right naturalness i do not believe that's a word but we're gonna use it anyways and putting that line on it man i just feel like it it, it makes it it makes everything pop so we're gonna do the same steps here and i want to zoom in and show you guys this um you know he let me know that he accidentally pushed himself back and so we're gonna keep it natural and later on we'll put some color enhancement to kind of you know assist throw me the assist john stockton the haircut all right so same steps here we're going close and starting to work our way up so little by little we're just going to open our lever until this section is blended so in this area you notice i didn't do all my guidelines i do a guideline then i erase it do my next guideline then i erase it so we switched it up just a little bit but it's pretty much the same thing we just didn't do our guy all of our guidelines first right so at this point our guard our clipper is all the way open now it's all the way closed and right beneath that we're gonna follow it up with that half guard if necessary and here we are we got the half guard here and with the half guard you can get close to the hairline even though we're trying to keep that dark the half guard is gonna keep it dark enough all right so zoom in method and now we start running that one and a half guard here on the sides and that should be the last guard we need to use we might need to jump back to that number two guard because every side you know each side reacts differently nobody has the perfect two identical same sides on their head there's indents in the head there's hair growth patterns that change hair density could change and what i mean by hair density is the um the count of hair strands within a specific area right so um obviously it could look lighter in some areas if there's less hair there all right, and we're just gonna little by little chisel the C cup, the shaping, trying to keep it natural so it grows back nicely, but we still want that nice sharp line as well. So that we gotta balance it, right? And then some people, you gotta get more cosmetic than you would like to. With those particular clients, I will definitely consult them. I'll ask them, you know, what do they prefer? And then I might show them what it looks like if they wanna keep it natural and they might say you know what man yeah just make it sharper and because what's natural to your client you know what i'm saying is subjective it, it, what's natural to your client might not be natural to you and what's natural to you might not be natural to your client so i zoomed in for a second there to show you guys i'm barely grabbing the very ends of his hair i don't want to make it look like it's shaved in the front i just want to get like any little hair that's going to curl up at the edge I want to get that so that we can get a nice laid hairline and then put that sharp line on it. Damn it, Tito. Another one? This, that area where I was lining up was a little tough because he definitely has like a, a, a switch up in his hair growth pattern that's making it look different and actually making it look a little higher in that area. So I took my time there and now I'm just trying to make the rest of his hairline, you know what I'm saying, balance with the other side. So the right side is a little bit lower naturally than his left side of his hairline. All right, so now we're cleaning up his skin, taking off any loose skin because this hair color, it stains the skin. It's designed to stain the skin. No patch test required. Um, it's not gonna break people out. I'm gonna do this all the way around the head just to get the cut to the next level. The fade is there, the hair, the, the lineup was crispy, but he had pushed himself back, so it's not gonna look its full potential. So we're gonna use um, the color to really get it there. And notice I'm putting aftershave through my line, spraying it out in between every single haircut so that my airbrush doesn't get clogged. 
all right and now we're going to go in and detail we're just going to run through all the guards that we already use and really focus on dark areas focus on imperfections focus on on areas that you know what i'm saying that look darker than others just so we can get, get a really nice fluid blend and so like i said i'm just running through each of the guards i used before and we're just pretty much cross checking our fade and watch when we get done with this with this detailing section how this 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 burst fade just it just it just gets to the next level And man, you know what? I know this is off topic and stuff, but I just want to make sure everybody's being cleanly in the barbershop with this whole coronavirus thing going on. I know a lot of people are, you know, there's a lot of barbers are like struggling right now. People are canceling their appointments. They don't want to be out in public like that. Um, just make sure you're cleaning up your shop, man. You're sanitizing everything. Extra careful. Um cuz we we have a responsibility for our clients as well to make sure they're safe and and um yeah man i hope everybody's doing all right during this uh this tough time in the world all right so you guys saw that man it, it, i feel like it got to the next level all right so let's do the same thing on this side so in this area right here there was definitely a switch up in hair growth pattern and so I really needed to focus right there in this area. Really need to get in there and lighten it up a little bit because the hair growth pattern changed and so it, it, it made it look, look a little off. So um, I definitely got to spend some time in there. And here we are. We're using the half guard now just to lighten that little area up. Just using my corners. And guys, like if you ever feel like you're over detailing, you might be, you know what I'm saying? There's, when I remember when I started cutting hair and I would get into my detail, um, you know, portion, man, I, sometimes I would mess up the cut. Sometimes it was better before I started detailing. So sometimes you really have to be able to tell yourself, you know what, it, it looks good. It's not Instagram. It's not, you know, Photoshop looking, but it's, it's, it's good. You know what I'm saying? So either that or you need to just step back you know what i'm saying go to the beard area line him up do the back of his neck or something and then come back to the detailing portion just to reset you know what i mean because sometimes we force things and we might mess up the cut or we're gonna take much longer on the haircut because we're just in that one spot trying to figure it out sometimes you gotta reset man it's human nature all right, so I was kind of shaping and freehanding it with the actual trimmers, and now I'm following it up with the shaver. And then once once we use the trimmer, we go ahead and use the razor. I'm gonna use 245 shave gel, which you can get at 245.com, so that we can give him a nice, comfortable shave, especially around the lip area, the mustache area. You want to use some type of you know what i'm saying shave gel something that's going to relieve the skin and also add glide for a comfortable shave damn it tito another one And so with his beard line, it's it's definitely lighter around the actual line, um, the top of his beard. So, you know, it's not going to be the crispiest thing because of his hair color. But I think that keeping it, you know, what I'm saying full and natural um, is a good look. It still looks really nice.
all right and I didn't do the neck area I'm like I I pretty much forgot about the neckline <laughs> and so I'm going back now to go ahead and finish that and I'm gonna go straight across first and then I'm gonna bevel the corners to make it a little bit rounded and make it look like it belongs with the cut because you're gonna see from a specific angle that I like to point out it, by beveling the corners as opposed to doing a harsh roundness I mean a harsh squared you know corner and then like a, a super exa exaggerated roundness in the corner um, it just suits the cut nice like look how I'm rounding it I'm I'm beveling it I'm barely rounding it look how it matches the C cup you guys see that it just looked great in my opinion All right, guys, and so we're doing last touches on the hairline, making sure it's, it's super duper sharp. And so here is the before. Now let's check out the after. Guys, thank you guys so much for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500K, and I'm dropping content as often as possible. Um, if you enjoyed it, smash the like button. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. See you guys on the next video. And if you want to see some more content and you haven't checked out my money channel, my personal finance channel, go check that out. Link will be in the description where we talk finances.